Hello there, so in today's video I'm going to be sharing what's in my diaper bag. <laughs> But yeah, so what is in my diaper bag for today's video? And this isn't just like a common diaper bag. It's going to be a cloth diapering mom diaper bag. And I haven't been cloth diapering that much, only just two months. So I don't really count myself as like an expert on cloth diapering, but I am cloth diapering. And cloth diapering has had its ups and downs, but I just thought it'd be an interesting video to share what I carry around while I'm cloth diapering and also to show you what um, the Skip Hop diaper bag it is a backpack and disclaimer or whatever please excuse these lines these are window lines from the window right there and it's very distracting sorry if this distracts you but it might bug you but I'm sorry so first off let me take a drink of my iced coffee I guess we'll start. What's in my diaper bag? So, here's the diaper bag. It's black, and it's blue on the inside, and I have a pen right here that says, Pray to end abortion, 40 days for life, www.40daysforlife.com. That pen, and then on the sides right here, there's two pockets, and they're actually really big. I can fit my 32-ounce water container in this, um... Thing. But right now I just have this little one and this is one that my mom got me and I have my phone. The time now is 2.36 p.m. I have this uh, Starbucks napkin in here. It's, don't know if this has been used, but that's in there. A chapstick. This one is from Young Living. Um, it's cinnamon. A cinnamon. A two scrunchies, a gray and like a beige one. Rubber band. And a lip butter. This one is... Corairs. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like this. And it's in the shade. What is this shade? It's in the shade. Mm. Okay, I don't know, but it's the pink one. And I also, whoa, I did not know I had this in here. Oh my goodness, look at I'm rich. I have one, two, three, four, five, six pennies in here. So we'll move into these pockets. It has this one right here. And I rarely go in these pockets, but more napkins. Another lip balm. This is really old. Um, this one's really old too. The last, this is like two or three years old, but I still use it. Every time like, I use it, it just hasn't ran out. But this one is the Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. I have a pencil, two rubber bands, a Young Living um, hand purifier. Oh, more rubber bands. Three more rubber bands. And that's it. There's also like in this compartment right here, there is this this tiny one right here. And moving on to this top one, um, I have this, I put this little ringlet thingy right here. And it comes, this bag comes with like little tinier bags in the bag. But what I have in this bag is a plastic fork. I think I put that in there just like, like what if I ever need a plastic fork kind of thing. Uh, another pencil. I'm finding all sorts of stuff. A really old Burt's Bees lip balm. I think I'm going to throw this away, actually. I've probably had this since 8th grade. I'm throwing that away. This I got for Christmas, but it's like one of those things where it's like a miniature little emergen emergency kit. And I got this from my sister a couple years ago. And what do you know? It has another lip balm. And, like, it has a makeup remover in it. Uh... Three of them, some rubber bands, a band-aid, little elastics, bobby pins, uh, lint sheets, nail filer, a little sewing kit, and earring backings. So it's just like a fun little thing to give someone. It's like so, it's like a portable little, it's hard to shut. Okay, yeah, so it's just that and I keep it in there. And I never use it, it just stays in there. <laughs> I always forget about it, that's why I never use it. But it is cool. Oh, and this one, this is another one that it came with. I bet this is supposed to be used as like an ice pack, but I use it for something else. I keep breast pads and a breast pad in it, some phenomenon products like pads, tampons, panty liners, and stuff. And then uh, I have Advil in here. I never use this though. Man, I forget. I have all this stuff in here. I don't really use the Advil. Maybe it's just for, like, for emergencies. And then I have some, like, more uh, bobby pins, <laughs> hair ties. And then I also have portable, compact mirror. 
there you guys are. Look at that. I forget how fun these videos are. It's just like showing you my stuff in my purse. So moving on to this big compartment. In here, I have a nursing cover. One of the ones where it's just like that. That. And then this is like uh, my wet bag. And in my wet bag is a wet diaper. Sorry if these lines are like really bugging you. They're bugging me too. Gosh, I can't get away from them. Maybe I can change it to autofocus. Um, I have a wet diaper in here. This has been used. And this is a pocket diaper from Bum Genius. The only different thing that I would say is different from a mom who isn't cloth diapering is I carried this around. And we do use cloth wipes at home, but on the go I use these wipes, the just the Huggies. But I think when I run out of these, then I will cloth wipes. I just have them in here from when I wasn't doing cloth diapering stuff. I have a bib, and usually when I go out, I will bring like two to four, four bibs, depending on how long we're out. I also have my wallet with no money. <laughs> I have a pair of pants for Jameson, and it has a little four-leaf clover on the butt. And then I have a little shirt, an extra shirt for him, and it says I have, it says I have the best mommy, but I, I don't think I'm the best mommy. And then um, this jacket for Jameson, and it's like a Ninja Turtles jacket. This is like an old one, because this was a hand-me-down, but it's from Nickelodeon. That's what the tag says, so it's a hand-me-down. Um, for Eli, I have two shirts. <laughs> I have um, this Hawaii shirt. And this Seattle, Washington shirt. A pair of socks for Eli. Then I have two underwear for Eli. A pair of socks for Jameson. And that is it in like this big main compartment right here. And there's also two pockets right here. In that pocket, I have a trash bag. And this is like, I used to use this if I had wet clothes, like dirty clothes. But now I guess I can put the dirty clothes in my wet bag. But I still, it's always nice to have a trash bag just in case if your wet bag gets filled up or you never know. You might need a plastic bag. Oh, another pair of socks for Eli is in there. So that's what's in these two things. Now moving on, I have pretty much all diaper bags come with this, but a little changing pad. I have this paper, what is it, from Jameson's doctor visit. And it just says his weight. If you're wondering, he weighs 19 pounds, 12.2 ounces. Uh, another napkin is in this bag, and then we also have two face masks. I used these a couple times when the smoke was real heavy in our area. I have, oh, more masks. These ones are just for, like, for germs, and then this one is for, like, bad air quality, so they're not as good. Another napkin. You never know how many, you need napkins when you're a mom, I guess. And then I also, just in case, like, usually when we go out, I will bring anywhere from one to three cloth diapers. But if I do run out of cloth diapers, I have three disposables because we do use disposables at night. And that is it in this compartment. And that is usually all I carry in my diaper bag. Sometimes, though, I will carry toys for Eli, like if we're going to a restaurant or if we are going to be out of the house for a while, I will have toys in here. But I think I took them out because there was just way too many toys in my bag. So that is all I carry in my diaper bag with cloth diapering and stuff. And I think I'm going to be doing more uh, cloth diaper videos here and there. So if you're interested in seeing the cloth diapering stuff, then let me know in the comments below. And yeah, so this is the Skip Pop bag and I really, really do like it. I wanted to use a backpack now that I have two kids because with just Eli, I, would, I had like this little side bag and it was more girly and this one is more just like basic so that way Caleb can wear it too and he won't feel awkward. I guess not that it would be that big of a deal but, and this is the end of this video thank you for watching I'm sorry for this weird lighting I should have done this video earlier in the day but I did but we did go to church so I wasn't able to film it then so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one okay bye